Tell Don to find the source of this power outage. Let's get digging. <laughs> Excuse me, Strawberry. Hmm. Can you read this, please? I don't know if the most practical game for a nighttime campout is pick-up sticks. <laughs> I thought it said trail mix. I got the trail mix and the cereal, celery, soda crackers, wheat crackers, the crackers with pepper sprinkles, and cherry likes, firewood, playing cards, sunscreen, extra socks, bandages, sandwiches, hand sanitizer, trail mix. Oh, wait, I said trail mix. Um, apples, two dozen. Orange, this is just an overnight camp out. They'll have the power fixed by morning and we can move back into town. <laughs> Meanwhile, time to head for the peace and quiet of the wilderness. It's been fun. Listen, I have an idea. Remember how much fun we had on our relay race and treasure hunt? Let's make the Creepy Woods into a challenge. We have three tents. Let's break into three groups and see which group is brave enough to camp out the longest. Ooh, I dare. I'm in. Me too. I love an adventure. Lemon, you and I can share a tent. We'll be team one. Tent Lemonberry. Plum? Team two rocks. We'll be tent Berry, Plummy, and Orangey. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberry, Cherry, we're team three. Tent Berry Tough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is going to be so very fun. We'll show them what team three is made of. <laughs> well, okay. It's on. That should do it, Tom Tom. Thanks for helping. Well, let's get back on the road. Mm -hmm. What is it, boy? <laughs> you smell something? Oh, I know what you smell. <laughs> We're not far from Berry Bitty City. How about stopping by and visiting our friends there? I have a book I can return to Blueberry. Hope it's not too late to pop by. Mud pies. How'd we end up at this dead end? I must have turned the wrong way. It's so dark out here. I don't get it. I could see Berry Bitty City right in front of us. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't see it anymore. Hmm. Well, there's something over there. Oh, here's a trail. Let's see where it leads. Come on, Tom Tom. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> What's wrong, boy? You're not afraid of the dark, are you? It'll be an adventure. I've got snacks. <laughs> I think it will be fabulous fun to sleep under the stars. We don't need the tent unless... Unless what? You know, if uh, there might be, or like, if there might, if any kind of, well, if a sort of creepy kind of creature happened to be around. 
Now, we can't think like that or we'll never win the challenge. We're gonna be the bravest of the brave, are we not? Uh, sure, but some distraction would be nice. How about we sing a campfire song? It might hear us. It? Maybe we should turn out the light so it doesn't see us. Hmm. Hey, what happened to that light? <clears throat> Don't worry, boy. We'll just follow this path. Want to roast marshmallows? Okay, sure. Anything to take my mind off. Whatever might be out there. In the dark. Help me find some sticks for the marshmallows. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Here's a good one. Are you certain? Uh, sort of certain. A creepy creature. Well, what did it look like? Well, I didn't really see it, I guess. Could it have been something else? Like maybe still a creature, but not a creepy one? For example, could it have been a bunny rabbit? Oh! Yes, I suppose it could have been a creature that is not creepy. Well then, let's get roasting. See, <laughs> where did the marshmallows go? Hmm. Pupcake, Hannah. <laughs> did you take the marshmallows? <laughs> they didn't take them. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> Running out of juice. But that's okay. More adventure in the dark. Snack time. Yay! Good one, Orange. I'm having a very good time. I'm actually not scared at all. Me neither. <laughs> mm. Oops. <laughs> I'll get it. Hey, where's Marmalade? Marmalade! <laughs> there you are. No wandering off, please. Where are you? Down here. Where'd it go? I don't know. It's like it just got swallowed up. Swallowed up? You know, disappeared. Swallowed up by what? Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. But you said it. Y you must have had a reason, a, a feeling. No, it's just a way of saying went missing, you know. I didn't mean I really thought something actually, you know, ate our horseshoe. I mean, who would eat a horseshoe anyway? Hmm. A creepy creature, that's who. How do you know creepy creatures don't love horseshoes? <laughs> that's so silly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did, did, did you hear that? Sounds like... Something eating a horseshoe. Mm. <laughs> Those are good. Where is Blue Bandit? I think she's to the right of her flag. Maybe one of us should go back and guard our flag. That's not, I mean... Is that really fair? Because there's only one of her and two of us. She didn't say we couldn't split up. Okay, but I don't want to be alone. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh-huh. Hey, Blue Bandit is making a move for our flag. Let's get hers. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> we captured your flag. I captured your flag. Ah! It's a tie! I was sure one of 
Maybe he was gonna ambush me over there on your side. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's do a tiebreaker. Definitely. Hot chocolate break first. Yum. Great idea. <laughs> Excuse me, Chiffon. Hot chocolate time. To bravery! To the wild outdoors! Well, ready for another game? Yup! Sure. Where are the flags? Guys, guys, calm down! Stole our flag! Right under our noses! It's too spooky out here! Someone or something is trying to sabotage our camp out! Well, let's calm down and just review the facts. Fact! Our horseshoes got uh -huh. eaten! Eaten? Well, they definitely disappeared. Our capture the flag flags disappeared also! Mm -hmm. And our marshmallows and roasting sticks did go missing too. Except this one! Ooh, just let that creepy creature try and take this one. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lemon. We may have a thief among us, but why should we let that spoil our camp out? Let's make it part of the challenge. Hmm. Staying out here with a creepy creature thief is challenge enough. I'm thinking instead of which team can stay out here the longest, which team can catch the culprit? Hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you catch a creepy creature horseshoe eater? Well, I guess it's up to your team. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it! <gasps> I know how to catch it! Shh! Lemon, what do you see? You're right, Strawberry! No one is gonna stop me from having a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> You're right, Lemon. Let's capture that marshmallow thief. Creature's gonna creep past this. <gasps> oh, Marmalade! How did you get out here? You're supposed to stay in the tent. What was that? Come on, we'll find out. I can't sleep. Me neither. I'm too excited. I hope we catch the creepy creature. I'm thirsty. Want some water? I'm having a hot chocolate craving. Oh, why are we whispering? <laughs> Blueberry, cherry, and raspberry have hot chocolate. They do? Three whole thermoses of it. I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> Careful not to get caught in our creature trap. <laughs> Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Getting caught in our own trap. <laughs> What is it? I forgot to give the other teams their thermoses of hot chocolate. I'm gonna go take it to them. That's nice of you. Want me to come with you? Well, who's gonna stay here with me? You have the puppies and a whole moat to guard you. It's okay, Cherry. I'll take Scouty. Come on, Scouty. Come on, boy. Walk. Go for a walk. Um, um. Drawbridge, milady. Why, thank you. Don't mind if I do. You can do it, Scouty! Hmm. Let's check that out. Oh, 
Ah, mud pies. I don't hear the whistling anymore. Now which way do we go? Ah! Let's get out of here. Let's take a walk and look around. Listen Hello there, to Cherry. The pretty sounds. Cherry! No, Strawberry! Don't come any... Did we? Did you? Is there? Oh my! What did we catch? Strawberry. Hmm. Very clever. Wish we'd thought of this. Easier than digging a moat. It's the creepy creature. Girls! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't really think we're gonna catch something, do you? I brought you hot chocolate. <laughs> <gasps> they caught him! The creepy creature! Come on, Hannah! Careful. <laughs> Lemon! Careful of the string. Did you catch it? Maybe that's it. Oh, oh. Did you Where catch it? Where is it? We didn't catch anything but ourselves. <laughs> you got caught in your own trap? Yeah. What happened to you, Strawberry? I got caught in their moat. Huh. I feel short-changed. We haven't caught anything at all. Oh, help! Help! Help me! Oh, great galloping gooseberries! <gasps> if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like... Huckleberry! What are you doing in our creature trap? Not much. Hmm. What are you doing here? I was delivering pups for adoption, and I thought I'd stop by and say hi, and then the lights all went out and, well... <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> <laughs> Having some juice power problems in Berry Bitty City. How about setting me free? I don't know. Have you been stealing our marshmallows? And our horseshoes? And our capture the flag flags? Huh? <laughs> okay, so here's my plan. We all pretend to go to sleep, and we leave Lemon Stick. And when the culprit steals it, we'll hear the bells and. This is so exciting! I don't know if I can pretend to be asleep. I'm so excited! <laughs> people, people, remember our acting lessons. Just relax your faces. Source of a power problem. My tennis balls! Our flags! Our horseshoes! The marshmallows! Marmalade, you silly puppy. So, this is. 
is where you've been putting everything. <laughs> it was the fountain clog that bungled up the juice berry power grid. Problem solved. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, I hope this doesn't mean the end of our camp out. Of course not. We haven't roasted marshmallows yet. <laughs> It was a dark and stormy night. Ugh, no, no, no. It was a very dark and stormy night. No, no. A very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey! Oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? <laughs> oh, uh, just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form. No. I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Please. Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean... <laughs> now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up or down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments of Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, that's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch! I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. <laughs> now, now, really? <laughs> ah! oh! Now, where'd he go? There you are. <laughs> Here 
Cherry. Sorry about the, uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. See you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry! I can't wait to read it, but I've been super busy trying to get Huck's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... Uh, Scout it down. That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! to Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom's town boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom uh, misses Scouty, too. So, uh, I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could write the story together? If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight, and I'll be there. Tom Tom, no! And this time, we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Ha! We're not getting stuck in there again. Right, Tom Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening, Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it. Bring her down. Huckleberry, you okay in there? Blueberry, hi. Uh, any idea how long before I can get out of here? Tell them not to fret. We'll have them out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries! You and I are expert Patty Persimmon fans! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is going to love our story! Please! When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now, please sit. No, Scouty. That's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom. Sit. Good boy, Scouty. So, I had this idea for a brand new detective. Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? Uh, sounds great. But isn't it a little bit like... Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. It all began on a dark and stormy night. A 
Ah, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! Perfect! But little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night for... Patty, uh... Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished! The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it! It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great! Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great! Hmm, what time is it? Time to mail our story. Well, I don't know about our story. I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye! Blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story How Can I Wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait. Where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh. Sugar? Oh, um, no, no thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Yeah, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo, with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you? And pencils? Oh, well, certainly. You know what we say, a complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Patty Persimmon Mystery Club Detective Hats? Wow! And the most complete collection of... Official Patty Persimmon Magnifying Glasses! Incredible! Oh, wow! Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. I have to, uh... Wow, thanks! Blueberry, that's... that's just fantastic. Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta, uh, see ya. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't... Peggy Perry.
Periwinkle. I think this will finish it. How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this. that What is it boy? What you see? Come on Tom Tom. <gasps> Evening blueberry. Can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and... Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh. Well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no! Uh, don't do that! Because it would depend on the venue and the theme and... Do you have any other magazines? I'm sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule you. We've used up your whole appointment style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. I uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry, is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. <laughs> I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. Oh, Blueberry. It was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. 
He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But you're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, Stealth Sleuths. I like it. So exciting. What a great idea, Apple, to expand our dessert line to our own dog biscuit business. Okay, Apple, ready to be part of our very best biscuit assembly line? After I decorate the biscuits with doggy-friendly icing, you wait for the icing to set, say, a couple of minutes, then wrap each biscuit in a piece of the pink cellophane and tie on a ribbon. These are already set. I'm on it. Great, cuz here we go. Another batch is done. Find any that are broken or messy, just toss them in the discard box. These will be for the pups of Berry Bitty City. Won't they be pleased? This one's going all the way to Berry Far Flung Township. They ordered six boxes. You know, these don't really look like dog biscuits. They don't? No, they really look more like cookies. <laughs> I see. Yeah, they do look pretty delicious, don't they? Like iced sugar cookies. Well, there isn't any reason we couldn't eat them. They're made from all-natural, people-friendly ingredients, but they just look sweet. They're really more savory-flavored. That's what dogs like. Savory? Yum! Strawberry means like the pretty icing doesn't have any sugar in it. It's sweet potato flavored. Dog friendly, of course. Sweet potato flavored? Yum! Mm. Yeah! <laughs> Ew, gross. I saw what you did. What? She ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. Apple ate a dog biscuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, Sour. They have the same ingredients as a sweet potato cracker. Sweet My Taste tested them. Why don't you try one? Ew, no way. I'm not a four-legged creature who eats off the floor and wags its tail. <laughs> like some people we know. <laughs> <clears throat> These are ready to go to the post office, Sour. I think you went a little too far with your teasing. Why not apologize to Apple? <sighs> oh, senorita sensitive. Sorry, Apple, I was just kidding. <laughs> Did you really think Madame Key Lime could have done it? I wouldn't cross Madame Key Lime off your list of suspects if I were you, girls. Sour. Hi, guys. Strawberries homemade triple berry muffins and spiced hot cider. Yum. That's so sweet of Strawberry to send those over and for you to bring them, Apple. How's the book? Great. Suspenseful. Predictable. Can I pour you some nice hot... <laughs> Sour, are you turning into a werewolf? Didn't you guys know Apple eats dog biscuits? <laughs> 
Yep, I saw her this very morning chowing down on, yeah, dog food. <laughs> she only tried one of our sweet potato doggy biscuits. <laughs> Been told ya! <laughs> Sour, be nice or you can be excused from book club. Politeness is another one of our rules you seem to have forgotten. Oh, come on! I was only fooling around. You guys are so stern. <sighs> Sorry, Apple. Apple, once more, please. That's okay. Try and relax. Hi, Sour. Can we help you? <laughs> Sour, stop your teasing. Can't you see we're having a lesson? Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> That's the last pineapple. You mean the last straw? Uh, yeah, sorry. On Berry Bountiful Island, they say last pineapple. But straw, pineapple, whatever. It's on now. Apple, where are you going? You were doing so well with your arpeggios. My arpeggios can wait. In the Berry Big Outback, when someone insults you three times, you're required to defend your honor. Uh, I'm not sure what is required in Berry Bitty City, but I don't think it's that. <laughs> Lemon? I really like the new shampoo you're using. It smells great. New? This is the same shampoo I've been using for weeks. <laughs> Hmm, that doesn't make sense. It smells like sandalwood? It's supposed to be lavender. <laughs> <laughs> that sandalwood smells familiar. Uh, hey! How did dog shampoo get into this bottle? This is definitely my sandalwood scented dog shampoo. <gasps> <laughs> Didn't you all know? Sour likes to have her hair washed with dog shampoo, followed by a good dusting of flea powder. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Apple. Good morning, Apple. I'll have my usual, please. Oh, it's over there at that table. Sour already got it prepared for you at a special table. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Ah. <laughs> Queen of Berryvania, and your Royal Highness, Princess Berrykin, 
thank you for your testimony. Ladies of the jury, you've heard the witness's testimony. How at our annual croquet tournament, our visiting royalty was soaked from head to toe with sparkleberry goop. And you've seen the damaged property from the cafe. All this caused by the feud between Sour and Apple. Have you reached a decision? <clears throat> we have. We all think a fair way to work this out is for Apple and Sour to spend the weekend camping at Berry Beautiful Meadow. Alone. <gasps> Together. <gasps> Okay, we're off. You're on your own. We'll see you back in town Sunday night. No earlier than sunset. Try and get along, please. What you made me do. That looks. looked. good. I'm sorry. Never mind. I can always make another one. Really? <laughs> going to keep bothering me by speaking, you might as well say something useful. If you make me one of those, I'll set up your tent. And my air mattress? Hmm. Okay, I'll blow up your air mattress if you make me dessert. Uh, oh, all right. Deal. Mm. This is... Pretty good. The campfire is not bad. Um, thanks for uh, making it. <laughs> You're welcome. This is better. Thanks. Dinner was um really good. <laughs> as good as the oatmeal I made you. <laughs> I have to admit, I really had you. You looked pretty goofy. Yeah, yeah, but my sprinkler thingy was worse. It's really all my fault. I started the whole thing with all my dog teasing. I'm sorry. Do you think they'll ever forgive us? I hope. Let's make it up to them. How? By you and me not playing any more pranks. Deal. <laughs> Did you hear giggling? Bouncing boysenberries. Look at them. Well, that worked better than I thought. <laughs> Howdy, Hi, girls. <laughs> I wasn't around to help with the biscuits this weekend. And I'm sorry I caused so much trouble. Sounds like you and Sour worked things out. I'm glad. Sour is pretty cool. I hope she likes me. But I don't even cook. <sighs> I wish I was more like her. How about you help us by making your own biscuit recipe? My own? Really? 
Sure. We'll get you started and you can make up your own flavorings. You know, stuff doggies will like. Tea time! I have something for you. It's turtle shaped. I made it for you, my own recipe. It's carrot flavored. Okay, one for Scouty, one for Marmalade, one for Chiffon. Cook. What do I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious and pay attention and follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could Sweet Pat Primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. Whatever. Brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> See you! Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour... Apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm. I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, 
forever. <gasps> Apple, I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and goodbye. <laughs> Sour? Oh, it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. Uh, what's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? Oh, no, no, no. You're first in line. They've been waiting for you. Oh, well, that's better. Sit here by me. We just want to tell you what we think of the new Apple. New Apple? You see, we really miss the old Apple. You used to be so sweet. And now you say mean things that hurt our feelings. But I thought you'd like me more. I'm glad you and I are friends. And I'm flattered you like me, but I don't want you to act like me. You don't? Just cook like me. <laughs> don't you think one meanie in Berry Bitty City is enough? Oh, I guess so. I miss the old apple, too. You mean you already liked me the way I was? Yes! And maybe the old apple could give me a crash course. In what? Friendliness. That's what Tea Time did with my biscuit. He didn't like it. Oh no, they're saving them for later. To a pup, that's the highest compliment. You mean? Yep, Tea Time loves your cooking. Just the way it was, even before I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> Postmaster? Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding! that I'm forgetting. <laughs> Could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my Snappy Apple Apple Snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because the sunshine, girls, tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine, girls, jump up, move to the groove. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. We're sunshine. 
Pants check. Snorkel check. Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels from when the first set's wet check. Uh-oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so very so nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Right. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotels months from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Berry Breezy Bay Resort with a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Berry Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Berry Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? 
Mm, yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sunshine girls. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can make it happen do it. together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Bear can bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Bear can bill on the sand. Cherry, you start the menu. One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. No, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty Plant Food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Maybe a little bit too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery! Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it.
think Orange is going to be all right? We better go check on her. Oh, Orange, we know how hard you worked. You really tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us, having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, 
they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow our vacation begins. Welcome to our very own Berry Bitty Resort. Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove Sway to the light lasted for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Blue Belly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular. 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 I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrican Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, you hand me that wubs later, would you? There you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a webzilator? Uh, hope so. Now you know that it is not so. That over there 
now. And to your left. Oh, never mind. I did it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know, well, it still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skates, Earl. She calls them icy skates. Oh, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore, so... So, Ed? Let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy sky blades, and we can put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. But what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I. <laughs> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your Regatta Queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mail? <laughs> Got a buzz. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry and Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, he would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry and Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry and Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh. oh, thank you, Barry and Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. <laughs> Ooh, nicely done. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tort, may I have a word? Of course. He seems 
Jeff's undone. Beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show, while all the barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? We hear someone say surprise. Yeah, I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry, we won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got Super Bitty Aqua Berrykin Blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got Super Bitty Fern Tendril Free to Firefly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh, well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Berrykin Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! Whoa. I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry and Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry Kim Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I... I... I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, oh. Mm hmm Say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the... Surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, you know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. Ah! Oh, well, help me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite... Cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Aha! Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and and the water doesn't. Um, get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. I'll see ya. Later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <clears throat> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking, and maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, tell us! us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean, model my spring line while the water show is going on? 
<laughs> uh -huh. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrican Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your models modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, evening, Ned. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, boss. But I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hooked up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just... Get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right. Boy, oh boy, everyone gonna be surprised. Ooh, they're getting kind of cold, boss. Yeah, well... Let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. just came from the lake. It's frozen solid.
all those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We can icy skate on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skates away. Icy skites and uh, oh, nothing, nothing. Uh -huh. I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense? Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good and should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah, like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A kind of, I don't know, a winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a... Uh, a centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful. We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! Great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites... Like how Barry King Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. I could be alone all day by myself in the cafe. No one knew how long it would stay. But this time it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities. Princess Berrykin is always the one to plant the zippy grow geranium seed when the last snow berrykin has melted. I know. Of all the times to be called away by the Biddy Berry Growers Association to Berry Big City. But I'm sure it must have been very urgent. There's no way around it. It's up to you, Berrykin Bloom, to plant the first flower of spring. Mm -hmm. 
History and Mystery of Berry Bitty City, first edition. There has to be a Berry Fest princess, and Princess Berrykin has been Berry Fest princess since the beginning of the book. So who's gonna do it now? <gasps> the Berry Fest princess has great responsibilities. She must organize and manage and lead the festival. And she must plant the events, judge all the flowers, smell all the flowers, know all about spring, not to mention the wanderberry. And of course, she must ride in the front of a parade in a beautiful carriage. That's for me. How will we ever choose? Uh, draw straws? A quick game of musical chairs? Find someone with a name that rhymes with drum? It was just a thought. Well, there's only one way to be fair. Berry Bitty City must do something it's never done before. <laughs> Have an election. You know, when I choose someone to work at the post office, they have to show me they can do the job first. Oh. A splendid idea indeed. Let's put the potential candidates through a few tests, eh? To see if they have what it takes to be very fast princess. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> The first challenge! The Berry Fest Princess judges the flower contest at the festival. Let's see who knows their flowers. You may proceed. Ah, oh, that's easy. A rose by any other name would still smell as rosy. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> I think I have a double begonia. Don't you mean double pneumonia, Katie Buck? No, no, no. Katie Buck was right the first time. It is a begonia. <laughs> the flower is a daisy. And you had three slices of cantaloupe at lunch? Uh, you are right. On both counts. <laughs> What do you call a flower that grows in between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? <laughs> Tulips. Ooh, good answer. And a lackluster joke. Lackluster? What does that mean? He means not so good. Huh. I thought it was a fabulous joke. Well, everyone has different tastes, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you ate your flower, and you are disqualified. I couldn't help it. I was hungry. I think she ate a honeysuckle. That is correct. <laughs> that is a zinnia, a genus of 20 species of annual and perennial plants of family Asteraceae. Mm, I suppose you are correct. It's a zinnia, at least. Boy, I just don't know. Oh, terribly sorry. It was a daffodil. Oh, shucks. No wonder I missed it. Daffodils aren't in fashion this season. With two down, we now move to our final contest. The Berry Fest Princess must know her way around the berry grove so that she can catch the Wanderberry. She must show enough athletic ability and stamina to lead the parade, and she must show an appreciation for growing things. The final contestants must climb a strawberry plant. Pick a strawberry, 
climb down, plant the strawberry, and water the strawberry. First two to finish, win! <laughs> On your marks, get set, plant! Which one should I climb? That one looks good, but uh, rather high. What if I fall? Oh, uh, that one's nice, but oh, the berry is so big, I might drop it. Let me see. Oh, here it is. 100 ways to gather strawberries. One, use a basket. Two, use a bigger basket. Three, don't use a basket, but use a chair to climb up and then use a basket. Oh, good climbing, Orange. You're fast. You're doing great, too. Oh, thank you. Here, use this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this works great. Uh, come on, you stubborn strawberry. Get off your vine. I know. I'll dig the hole first, water it, and then get the strawberry. Nice strawberry you picked, Strawberry. I like yours, too. Thank you. Uh-oh. Ah! Hey, who turned out the light? Let me out. <laughs> hey! Oh, look! I grew a Katie Berry. We did it! Just fall! Fall! We have our two candidates! Fall! Yeah. Oh. Aha! Here it is, number 78. Take a basket in your left hand and one in your right. Oh, we're done already? Sure are. I'm going to ride in that parade carriage no matter what. Me too. There. Done. Only 199 more to go. Oh, uh, pardon me, Sadiebug. After you. Sorry. Um, let me know you first. <laughs> hey, Strawberry. I've, I've come to be your campaign, campaign manager. Uh, well... Hey! I was gonna say that! Well, <laughs> why don't you both be my campaign managers and team up? Oh, I would be very glad to have your help. Hmm. I only need 199 more signs made. Dig in! Come again soon and vote for Orange! 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 What are you doing? Um, I'm handing out vote for orange buttons. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, huh? uh, give me that. <laughs> As your official campaign manager, these bitty buttons don't tell a big enough message. Campaign manager? Here you go. And you, and you too. <laughs> um, Katie Bug, I'm not sure I need a campaign manager, but I really could use a speechwriter. Know any? Don't you worry, soon to be very best princess. I shall take charge and get you the very best. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. There, all done. That looks great, Lemon. Thanks. Oh, how about my side? Um. <laughs> Aren't I the one who's running for Berryfest Princess? Oops. I thought she looked kind of familiar. I'll just redraw all of them. You know, Sadie Bug, what I could use more than posters is a speechwriter. And since Blueberry is so good at writing, maybe you could see if she might help. Got it, Berry Fast Princess to be. I don't know how to say this, but I'm not sure Sadie Bug and I are in agreement on the best way to help you win. Oh, I'm not sure I'm in agreement about any of this. What are you doing here? I asked you first. 
No, I did. Let's call it a tie. Now, what can I do for you two? You, you have, have to write, write a speech for my candidate. It would be odd to write a speech for both candidates. And, well, I'm not sure I've decided who I'm going to vote for yet. My candidate's the best. No, mine is. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Stop! You've decided? Well, no, not yet. But my candidate will let you ride with her in the parade. Uh, so will mine, right up in the front. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I decide. Right in the very front. Like, you couldn't ride in a better place. Yeah. What am I gonna do about this? Strawberry! What's the matter, Blueberry? Who do I write a speech for, Strawberry? You, Orange? I love you both. I don't want to hurt either of your feelings. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, no. Worst thing that ever happened to her? I wonder if anyone else feels like that. I'm so sorry, Strawberry, but you're just going to have to find your election fashion somewhere else. What? It's too upsetting for me to make dresses for both you and Orange. But why? You love making dresses. Well, I tried, but every time I added a great-looking detail to one dress, I felt, to be fair, that I had to go back to the other one and add it to the other to be sure both dresses were equally fantastic. Because uh, I love you both. It's making me crazy. But, Raspberry, any dress you make for me, I'm sure will be terrific. I won't compare it with oranges, and I'm sure orange won't either. We'll both just be so happy you made our dresses. I don't know what to do. Oh. <gasps> oh, Strawberry, I don't know what to do. You too? What is it, Plum? I don't know who to vote for. You, Orange, Orange, you? It's tearing me apart. It's fine, Plum. Vote for either Orange or me. Both are good choices. I think Orange would make a great Berry Fest princess. I know. So would you. I don't even know if I want to vote. Oh, my. This is very, very bad. <laughs> That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? <sighs> not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Here you're dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fest Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. <laughs> How does this look? Great. How about mine? Wonderful. Huh? Hi, Hi strawberry. strawberry. I see you two are getting along. Mm-hmm. We realized we weren't getting anything done not working together. So, we made a plan of how to work together. 
I do the posters my way. And I do the buttons my way. And then we both help each other hand out the buttons and hang up the posters. And most of all, we are both nice no matter what. That's the very best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> so good that it makes me want to write a speech about it. So, like I said, I believe in less planning and more doing. Hmm, more doing. Sounds good to me. Sometimes you just have to jump right in to get things done here in Berry Bitty City. And if you vote for me for Berry Fest Princess, you'll be voting for yourself. Well, actually not yourself, but me. But you know what I mean. I think it would be fun to be Berry Fest Princess. So vote for me! <laughs> Thank you, Orange Blossom, for that wonderful election speech. <laughs> and now, to hear from our second candidate, Strawberry <laughs> Shortcake. <laughs> I agree that being Berry Fest Princess will be fun, but it will also be hard work. And I'm ready for that. And I believe in more planning before doing. More planning. Sounds good. So I guess I don't agree with Orange on everything. But that doesn't mean that we don't get along. I was very confused by this election. I wanted to be Berry Fest Princess, but I also wanted my friend Orange to be too. So running against Orange made me confused. And I think it may be confusing a lot of you too. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I realized that there are good reasons to vote for both of us. Different reasons. And so, everyone in Berry Bitty City has a chance to choose. And choosing isn't bad. Even though we have different opinions, we all get along. Just remember, no matter who you choose, we'll always, always, always be friends. No matter what. Yay! Yay! Now that we've heard the candidates' speeches, it's time to vote! <laughs> now remember, orange for orange and red for strawberry. Now that we've voted, it's time to count the votes. <laughs> One for orange. One for strawberry. Two for strawberry. Two for orange. And the last vote is for... Orange! Seventy-five plus three. Let's carry the two and... Uh... Yes? We have a tie! Oh, no, no, no. It definitely can't be a tie. As near as I can figure, somebody didn't vote. Oops. Sorry about that. In all the excitement, it must have slipped my mind. Can I vote now? I think you must, or we won't have a Berry Fest princess. I'm gonna be in the front of the parade. <laughs> And the Berry Fest Princess for this year is. <gasps> Strawberry Shortcake! Yay! Me? Yeah! But, but. You voted for me? I know it would be fun to win, but well, I, I thought it over, and my opinion is you would make the best Berry Fest Princess. That's right! Me! Actually, Orange and I decided that since both of you were such... Um, good campaign managers, that you should both get to ride at the front of the parade. Both of us? Well, I get to ride in the front of the carriage. Uh-uh! Uh -huh. Oh, well, I tried. You sure did! <laughs> 